Welcome to Iris On. My name's Kerry Musselbrook and today with us we have Gary Clapton who's talking about dads and good practice with fathers and children and family services. Sunday the 18th happens to be Father's Day so let's celebrate all our dads. Gary, you're a dad yourself, aren't you? I am, Kerry, yes. Yeah. Could you tell us a, a little bit about uh, what symbolises being a good dad to you? We've asked you to bring like a, an artefact or something that reminds you of that. Well, I brought a couple of things along and they're maps. Um, one's of the Water Relief Walkway and another's of the Fife Coastal Path. And they symbolise for me the, uh, the, the, the events I, I do every, every year with my older son. We go walking and sometimes we stay over a couple of nights. And I've just begun to sort of start working with my uh, younger son. And it's a, a, we have a great time. We go out walking and we kind of walk along in silence sometimes, and sometimes we chat. Um, but it's it's it, for me it's a it's it's a symbol of uh, just being close. Mm -hmm. And you know we don't have to talk about things, but we 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 end up doing so. And sometimes it's uh, a really pleasurable silence. But either mm -hmm. way, um, I, I've been uh, you know really committed to this walk. Time was uh, when uh, uh, the oldest one was twelve, um, my oldest son anyway. Um, we uh, uh, and he had to sort of be coaxed into sort of coming on walks, but uh, now he asks me when we go and walking, so uh, I must be doing something right there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, could you tell me how you think Dad's roles have changed over the last 30 years or from mm -hmm. when you were a boy? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think that there's new um, uh, change in societal expectations of fathers to, to do more, to become more involved, not just with the kind of rough and tumble and the play of the kids, but just to do more uh, in the house. And I think things like job and employment um, uh, circumstances have changed as well because um, you know some of the sort of like heavy industry that fathers would be work working in and um, maybe keep them away. Uh, that's also altered. So we've got an opportunity um, for men to do more, and I think that they are doing more. So I, I think things have shifted quite a lot now in, in terms of expectations. I know that um, in terms of women's expectations, they expect to do um, or to be asked to do less in the house, and uh, or expected to do less in the house and uh, you know have a career and you know all of that requires a, you know a partner um, uh, to you know to support that. I think men also expect a lot more of themselves they're kind of more of them are at births and um, more of them want to read to their children so you can see uh, you know on a number of fronts you know um, you know, things are changing. Yeah so Gary why do dads matter? Could you tell us a little bit about the dad effect that you talk about in the the insight the, the evidence summary that you've produced? Well, the um, dads matter on, on a range of fronts now um, and it seems to me that uh, the evidence has been growing over the last uh, number of years now and I, I, I can t tell you about you know, how they would, might matter for uh, preschoolers, for example, that uh, play and a father's involvement with, a, say, a, a three-year-old and a four-year-old um, causes a kind of school readiness, it's been called, or ready mm. to go to school. And the, the, um, uh, when you look at kids are, who are at school, uh, dads involved in homework and who take an interest in what kids are doing, uh, produce kids that are um, that bit more um, you know, committed to school. Um, you know, there's less trouble in school, and uh, and uh, you know, there's uh, less uh, you know susceptible to bullying. Uh, the evidence is kind of mounting up here, and when you look at um, uh, adolescence, for example, an involved father uh, predicts um, uh, less trouble with the police. You know, so there's a, mm -hmm. a few things here, but the dads matter um, uh, in in very very sort of countable ways, very 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 much so. Yeah, it really stacks up, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And yet, the evidence seems to be that dads are being overlooked, they're not being as involved as much in, in children and family services and education as much as they could be. Uh -huh, yeah. There's um, examples of, uh, um, you know, this, as you call it, being overlooked, marginalised, um, left out the picture, a variety of ways of describing it. I mean, you know, take for example the, the, the story I heard the other day that about a health visitor who comes to the door and is greeted by a, a, a man with a baby in his hands and she'll look round his shoulder and said, where's mum? Is mum in today? Mm. And so that kind of like, uh, you know, kind of summed a few things up for me. But there are other things too, like school. Um, for instance, if you're enrolling a kid in school, um, it's a bit patchy whether the school enrolment process will allow uh, or, or, or ask for both sets of, of parents, you know. And this 
this is particularly important for um, fathers who don't live uh, with their children so that their, their details are also on record with the school. And um, I would stress it's not just fathers, it's father figures as well. And so that could include grandparents, grandfathers and so on. But, you know, when it comes to social services, uh, they too kind of miss a trick sometimes, particularly when it's in child protection and the, um, there's a possibility a child, a child might come into care. And we haven't actually assessed, for good or for bad, uh, whether the father's networks, his mum and dad and his brothers and sisters, might be able to step in and stop the kid from coming into care. I mean, there are other examples too. I mean, last year's Eat Well, I think it was called, or Eat Healthy campaign by the Scottish government uh, was launched with a lot of women sort of waving wooden sticks and spatulas in the air, call, uh, you know, campaigning for um, better food and better meals. Mm -hmm. And all the videos that went on the government website were just women cooking. And uh, right, so I we're thought falling that back was, into stereotypes. Uh, <laughs> real big ones there, yeah. I thought mm -hmm. that that ought to be changed. It doesn't, you don't have to do things uh, any extra, uh, you just have to do things differently. And it doesn't take an awful lot of effort. Yeah, and I think that's, you know, that's a nice point to think about some of the practical things uh -huh. that you mentioned in insight about what you can what you can do to bring dads to include dads in all of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Could are, you maybe give us a couple of examples? Well, as I said, I, I think the schools could do uh, something different by reaching out to fathers. But there are also things like, um, uh, you know, be careful about how you use the word parent because society, when it hears parent, thinks mother. So I think that um, um, uh, mother and, and father, you know, uh, toddlers groups are, uh, would work better. It's a bit clumsy, but um, it, it gets out of that, um, that kind of like mothers are expected to be the ones who do yeah. things. I think that letters in school bags, for example, are generally only read by mum. And, you know, they, it's important that these letters are, are particularly addressed to, to mum and dad. And as I said earlier, um, especially the case where uh, dad might not be living, living at home. I think in social services, um, I would like to see some of the publicity um, for the um, children and family services, for example, foster care, daycare and so on. I'd like to see that have more dads in the picture. It's often the case that an advert for services for children and families has just got a woman only. And I think that that could easily be changed, right? It's, yeah. it's, it's a matter of sorting out the, the copy. Yeah, it's been mindful of these yes, important right. things. Yes, that's right, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Gary. It's been a pleasure having you. And to read more, please pick up the insight. Thank you. Thanks, Kay.